Hello friends, Tony, I'm back. Uh, it's been a long time since I created the last video about uh, Laravel in this YouTube channel. And I'm going to tell you the reasons, but not right now. I'm going to tell you the reasons why I left uh, for such a long time the YouTube when I allowed to tell. And uh, I'm going to start again. And in this video, I'm going to show you the new sidebar component we have in the ShotCN UI. And of course, we're going to work with Laravel. Uh, I saw so many people uh, having trouble, having issues uh, installing ShotCN on Laravel. So I'm going to show you also how to install and work with that sidebar component. So for that, let's open the ShotCN UI. And of course, here we have the sidebar component, the new one. But first, let's go to documentation and installation. We have frameworks here. We can choose Laravel. So first we need to create a Laravel. You can create from this command or we can use the Laravel command. So I'm going to say Laravel new and I'm going to use the name breeze dash shadcn. Hit enter. I'm going to choose breeze and also react with inertia. Let's say dark mode TypeScript. And let's create the Laravel version 11.3 project. Good. Now let's cd in the Breeze ShotCN, and I'm going to open this project with VS Code. Okay, so here we are, and the first thing, let's open this uh, tsconfig.json. We have compiler options. On the path, we have this at slash all, which is at the point uh, dot slash resources slash js. Now, the ShotCN is going to use this path to install the and create the components. So let's go and open the CLI. So we have a new CLI. I'm going to use npm here, copy this command and run in our project. Hit enter. We'll choose New York, neutral. Okay, it's going to update the title in config.js and also the app.css and it's going to create one file inside the resources js lib directory and otils.ts so if i come here and let's close this and let's see inside the resources js we have a lib directory with this utils file okay as i told you the shotcn is going to refer to this path now if you change the path here let me just show you and I'm going to move it back like this. I'm going to delete this component JSON and also let's delete that uh, lib file. I'm going to install again the ShotCN. So let's copy npm and if I install right now, okay, let's choose the default here. It's going to create a new file now inside the libutils.ts. If we see, we don't have in the JS directory, but in the core directory, which is right here. And you have, if you have something like this, just move this lib in the JS file. And then we have the components.json update here the components to point to resources slash js slash uh, components okay like this and the same for the others so i'm going to copy this paste it here also here also here and also here and if we save we have the same thing so if we can if we want to create a new component so for example add the button use npm come here and just paste that in it's going to add the button in the resources js components ui okay if i come here again components ui and we have this this is up to you, but I prefer 
that leave it like this and of course let's delete the UI here and change the DS config to something like this and I'm going to run again shut the any need dash F okay good now let's work with that component so with the sidebar component here here we have the sidebar an example here but you can browse the blocks for the components so we have a bunch of components this one is a simple sidebar with navigation grouped by sections so here is a section and we have something like this with collapsible section and also you have a right uh, sidebar and so on you can see here but let's see the installation i'm going to copy this using npm come here and paste that in hit enter and it's going to create uh, some component for us components i think eight of them yeah eight files so sidebar button separator sheet tooltip input use mobile and the skeleton okay so if we see in the vs code now we have ui we have yeah eight components here good next what we need is to add this one in the on the global css in our case it's going to be in the app.css we have here just paste it and save to close also let me just run the npm run dev and close next we need we have the structure a sidebar component is composed of the following parts so we have provider sidebar header footer content group and trigger the usage is like this on the layout we can use a provider app sidebar the sidebar trigger and put here the children and here is the app sidebar so let just copy this one and come here and I'm going to use uh, let's use the guest layout here I'm going to remove this and replace with this one now we need to import the provider we don't have the sidebar so let's go and create a new file here app sidebar.tsx and we need to copy this paste it here save just make sure we have imported from components ui slash sidebar okay so import also the sidebar and the trigger and i think we are okay i'm going to save that let's remove this link we don't need it right now and also the logo next we added this we created this and i think we are good so just let's open the project so breeze shut c and test yeah here is the project i go to login we have the sidebar here which is empty but we have the sidebar so if i go to sidebar and just uh, change the sidebar to something like this because here as you can see we have menu items we have to copy that and replace our sidebar component with this one so place this save and i think we have everything import from the components ui slash sidebar with the save close and now if we open the 
project. Let's refresh. Yeah, now we have here the menu. Okay. So this is how easy it is to add the sidebar in the Laravel project with React and Breeze using this Shatzian new component. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video. And don't forget, if you like such a videos, subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.